Tomas, be quiet. Hey, you're making too much noise, little puppy. Tomas, be quiet. Hey, stop making so much noise back there. Hey, stop. Good morning, internet people. Welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube. I'm Sierra. I'm Mister. And we have little man here with us. Where is the little man? Right here. Hi. Hi. What are we gonna do today? We're going to go to a castle. Uh, not exactly a castle, but close. So as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, we are going out as a family today for a day out. We haven't had a day out in forever, it feels like. Um, and we're going to visit Byland or Beeland Abbey. I think it's Byland Abbey, which is another one of the many English heritage sites that we've visited as a family over the years. Um, if you don't know what English heritage is, I'll put a link below, but it's like a membership where you get like free entry to a bunch of historic sites in England. And after I think a year, you get also all the sites in Wales, Northern Ireland, and Scotland. So if you're coming to the UK for longer than a year, or you know, if you're just coming for a year, it's a really good option. But Anyway, um, Byland Abbey is, as it sounds in the title, an old abbey that was built in the 12th century by a group of cistern monks. Hey, Tomas, stop making so much sound. Stop it. Um, sorry. So, let me try that again. Um, so, according to the guidebook, it is, ha it is one of the first abbeys in the area that was ex experimented with using new Gothic architecture, which is really cool. And when the abbey was at its peak, it actually had about 300 monks in it, but because of Scottish raiders and the plague, they ended up only having, I think it was... 14 by the time the abbey unfortunately had to close. I've also heard that inside the abbey there are some ancient tiles from like the original build that are still hanging out and sitting and seeing the sun today which is really cool. So um, we're gonna park as soon as we get our turn and we'll see you guys inside of the abbey. <laughs> Look it's a sheep. Did you forget to pack your lunch Tomash? Are you having a salad? Fresh organic. Hey guys, so we are out down in the Abbey now and this place is absolutely massive. When I looked online, I'll turn around so you guys can see it, like, it's kind of see, but you guys can see how it just keeps like going and going and going in that direction. For some reason I thought that it was like just the church and it'd be just like a quick place to have a picnic, but this place is awesome. Oh my gosh, but as you guys can see, I've already lost my boys. They're over there climbing as usual, getting it up to who knows what. But as far as I see, there is no sign that says we can't climb. So until there's a sign, they're probably going to climb. I know you can't walk on the tiles wherever they are. I don't know where they are, but they're supposed to be really cool. So if I can find them, I'll show them to you. But yeah, just look at all this. Amazing. Monkey see, monkey see. Toma. Hi! You like a day out in the sun? It's those lazy, daisy, hazy, lazy, daisy dog days of summer. Yes, I sung that wrong for the copyright. <laughs> ah. Okay, so this is what the church used to look like. And this is what the church looks like now. Unfortunately, I asked someone, there's a little tour going on right now, and this is where all the historic tiles are actually supposed to be. Um, they're covered up from winter that was supposed to protect them from like the snow and the ice and everything. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we can see them today. But if I can find some photos from somewhere, I'll put those in. But um, someone still found a use for the tiles. Are you drinking the water? Whoa, there he is. There's my boy. Where's your daddy? Where's dad? Oh, there's daddy. Hello, daddy. I want to climb up there. Okay. Who's that? Yeah? How'd she get up there? Someone back there? There's a dog over there. What in the world? Whoa, there's a little child too. What's going on? Well, are they scaling the outside of the church? Whoa, there's another one. Look, she's climbing the walls. Hi. Hi. What do you think of that, huh? Yeah, what do you think, 
Huh? Tomer's like, I want down. I don't care what you do, but I want down. How do you feel? I got them. <laughs> and then these ones were put the ink. So they would take the feather, they would, it would have a pointed end, they would dip it in the ink, and then they would do writing. That's oh. how they wrote in those days. And they didn't have paper either. Mm. So what did they write on? They wrote on animal skin called parchment or vellum that they had to make. It's really so tiny. It really is very tiny, yeah. And that makes you realise how big the buildings were. Yeah. You did? Whoa, look at that. Yeah, we can sit. We can sit here and enjoy the sunshine? Yeah. Yeah, it's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. You know what else we can do? We can look right here. See? Look at the beautiful abbey behind us. Very dirty. I've never been a good motivation speaker. <laughs> Mama! Yeah, what you got? What is that? What is that? Is that... Mm, is that my lunch? What? Is that what I'm going to have for lunch? Ah! No! Yeah! Look. <laughs> I have to eat that? <laughs> You're just funny. Picnic area. See, it's a full service canteen with even a little doggy leash putter in our thing. That is a technical term, by the way. Hey there, guys. So, we are about, I would say, halfway through our day. What is it? A chair to sit over there. Oh, I see that. Hey guys, so I would say we are maybe halfway through our little day at Byland Abbey. It's time for lunch and we actually just went into the museum, which is over there, and we asked them where the rectory was, which at the rectory is where they used to have their lunches and their dinners. It's like their cafeteria. And so we decided to have lunch just like the monks did 800 years ago. So that'll be really fun. Mister, what you got for lunch today? Salad. Salad. Ooh, can you tell it to the people what's in it? Cucumbers. Mm. Pepper, green, almond, mm -hmm. yellow, banana squash, cranberries, walnuts, mm -hmm. homegrown but, but um, lettuces. You heard him, Tomash. A uh, people food, not dog food. She says you can stay. I can I'm stay, cold. huh? Stop that! <laughs> ah! Hey guys, so it's been a couple of hours since I last saw you, and as you guys can tell, we're back at home. Um, the rest of the time at Byland Abbey, since the last time I checked in you with, was really fun. Uh, we walked around some more, took some family photos, just kind of played, I think, hide and seek, and chase, and climb, and it was really fun. Um, yeah, but I forgot to do the outro on our way home. Not only because the, partially because the road was bumpy and I was waiting for it to be less bumpy, but also because I was a little sad and upset because I don't know if you guys can see on here, but actually when I was at the Abbey, we were taking family photos, I idiotically put my sunglasses in my back pocket and then sat on them. So they're not broken, but I don't know if you guys can see. this. Yeah, there you go. You can see it has an awful, awful scratch on them. So I was really disappointed in that. Um, so I'm going to have to send them in, which just makes me upset because if the scratch were anywhere else on my glasses, it would be fine. But it's literally like right here where you look and like see and I keep seeing feeling like there's like a bug or something on my face or like in my eye and it's not it's just my glasses so that is disappointing but 
Anyways, after that, um, we went through another little walk. I didn't take any footage of it, but there was a um, little path around a field with some sheep board. We just kind of walked around and saw what that was about and saw, um, I guess it used to be the farm of the Abbey. Not actually sure, but um, next door, there was actually a little um, hotel slash pub that's opening up. I think it's called the Byland Inn or the Abbey Inn. They're opening actually a week from now, so maybe we'll go back sometime to the Abbey and try it out. But the reason I know that is because we tried to stop in um, after we were done at the Abbey for a quick drink and the toilet, and then we found out that they actually don't open until next week. So that was disappointing, but they're going to have a beer garden, which should be really cool if you guys want to visit. But the um, other thing I learned is apparently we were a week early because they are going to open and unveil the tiles at Byland Abbey um, next week. They cover them for the winter because they don't want the frost to change temperature and damage them. So that was disappointing. But anyways, we still had a really fun day and I think we accomplished everything we wanted to, which just some time together with family. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it's probably a little bit shorter than my regular, but hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.